I have with me Kristen Cavallo, a global CEO of Malin Low, and uh, Subbu, who's the India head of Malin Low Lintas. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. A very interesting thing is that uh, Kristen, you've spent twenty, more than twenty-five, thirty years with the company, and Subbu, you spent about twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. Fantastic. So you know, it's one of those rare agencies where people really don't want to leave until they've retired. Yeah. <laughs> so I really want to know from both of you because you represent both. The ends of the spectrum, global and Indian. What is it that really makes you such good employers? I'll start. Yep. Um, next year is my 30th year with IPG. IPG is the holding company that owns uh, Mullen Low and 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 Lintas and and all the other agencies within uh, the Mullen Low network. And I have spent next year 30 years uh, at two different agencies within Interpublic, um, the Martin Agency and Mullen Low. And I think what keeps me here is the constant sense of change. There's never a day where I'm bored. Um, the problems are always different. We always have a, a big range of clients, especially in India. We'll have pharma clients, we'll have consumer packaged goods, you'll have clothing retailers, you'll have cars. And so we might notice similar trends but the problems are inherently their own and for someone like me whose biggest fear is boredom uh, I feel like I hit the job lottery uh, in choosing advertising you said we don't look at the destination okay we're driven by purpose and when you're driven by purpose you don't know what the destination is you keep running to keep it to keep it going and what drives us is the passion that this place gives us and uh, we keep it going and we enjoy we enjoy the current we enjoy the process and uh, we go running that was very eloquently said take his answer <laughs> <laughs> what are the biggest uh, campaigns that you're betting on this year at can globally for ourselves um well um, we know some of the answers already because we're, we're halfway through the week but um uh you know Vim Black, I think, was a very good campaign that really challenged the um, gender stereotypes of dishwashing. I thought it was a very brave campaign, um, and and I thought also thought it was a very clever campaign to create a fake product that really spoke to really a really wonderful client that was willing to let us play with that foil and that sense of, of comedy, but also in a way that really underscored that there are some things that need to change, mm -hmm. some really important deep-seated things that need to change. Um, uh, Lola, our, our Spanish agency, did a wonderful campaign challenging the laws that women can't breastfeed in public. I think that was that was really inspiring and very good. What I love about this is I think often advertising isn't given enough credit for the ways we break stereotypes and the, the ways we change world for the better. I think too often advertising is um, as seen as a um, as not a, as not as legitimate a business driver as other forms of business and it's not as valued and respected but the truth is we're taking on some pretty big stereotypes and we're taking on some pretty big initiatives that are ending and changing laws and broadening definitions of, of the way we look at humanity and look at each other and I think the industry deserves to be m more respected. Were you disappointed because uh, none of the in entries from India have been converted so far into wins? And like you said, a couple of really nice entries there. And another interesting thing is that two entries were on Pride. I mean, uh, we've never really seen uh, Low Lintas go all out on Pride. And that's very, very, very interesting that we saw this year at Cannes. Uh, how, how, how was it? I'll let you answer specifically. I'm super competitive, so I'm always disappointed. Um, I like to win, and I like to win. Um, I hate losing as much as I, uh, even more than I love winning. Um, but I will say those campaigns have made a difference to those clients. And so while I think that there is a degree to which I, I value and respect the opinions of my peers, um, well, the truth is we know the business impact those campaigns have made, and I'm very proud of the business impact those campaigns have made. And so winning here is, um, it's the cherry on top but it's not the goal likewise exactly what Kristen said yeah there is disappointment that we haven't won here but we have won in the marketplace and we are one with the clients and uh, more importantly uh, they have taken the brands forward okay and that makes us uh, makes it very gratifying for us you know, one thing uh, Malin Lo overall is uh, very well known for is uh, return on creative investment and creative effectiveness. What is the other thing that you would want to be known for? Creating brand momentum. 
um, creating brand agility um, and being seen as a great steward of innovative brands. I think for um, what we've learned is the more innovative brands grow faster and the more innovative you are, the faster your growth. But sometimes people are afraid to allow their brands the elasticity of change. We, we want our brands to be constantly familiar and and we think it's a risk sometimes when a brand shows a new side of itself or takes on a new point of view but that can be stifling to the brand too if it becomes so predictable mm -hmm. people fail to lose interest they might recognize you but not care and our job is to make sure that they care and um, and so uh, I think I think it's really important that we be known as a grand a great steward of innovation brands and, ag and agile brands my answer is straightforward okay uh, I love a great pride in the brands that we had built which I keep talking about I love brands taking stands okay you need to stick your neck out and stand for something people may agree with it disagree with it doesn't matter but I have a clear point of view and this brand stands for something and if we can make the belief of the brand the belief of our audience too that we serve that will be amazing because people need that because there's too much happening in people's lives and when the and to me uh, today once there was a time like where uh, we used to talk about the grand narratives whether it's the uh, the authorities the churches or the states and all played a greater degree of role mm -hmm. in telling people how to organize their lives because those are not those don't hold the same kind of influence today mm -hmm. And really powerful brands, big brands can come and play that role. Mm -hmm. And people look up to them, look up to them. And when somebody says like, oh, this brand is, a, I worship this brand, I look up to this brand. And if brands can come and play that meaningful role in helping people organize their lives mm -hmm. and probably resolve some of the conflicts that they are facing, I think it's a great place to be in. And when we, we, we have, we love building brands that way and if you could do that going forward it will be amazing and uh, we've had a change of guard at uh, Malin Lowland Tars in India uh, after Amir Jalil and uh, Virat left and we have a very old hand uh, Subhu taking over uh, from one CEO <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, don't know. I don't know what you mean by that <laughs> I mean, experienced. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, from one CEO to the other, what is the advice that you really want to give him? <laughs> Don't mess it up. <laughs> um, I want you to. Um, honestly, I. I mean, I. I I think the world of you and I think the world of you because I think you're so strategic you're so thoughtful you have such a great way with words I think the way you encourage your employees makes them want to run through walls for you and I would say keep doing all of those things thank you Kristen thank you so much <laughs> Thank you so much. And also, we've seen one change uh, at uh, Manan Lolintas. Earlier, you experimented with this joint uh, leadership model. Uh, even at this point as well, there's nobody at the group CCO level. Uh, is there a reason why you've done away with that post? Second thing, uh, you had this joint leadership model at both your agencies. Uh, Garima, Azaz, uh, Pratik and Sagar. Now you've again come back to this, you know, one person leading each. Yeah. Was that a strategic decision and why? It's a strategic decision and it's the right decision. Okay. Yeah, two things I'll tell you. One is I always believe uh, there has to be clarity in leadership. There has to be one leader responsible for one thing. Uh, what, what I mean one thing, it's it's the, 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 the function. See, it, it's, it's the leader's vision which people rally around and uh, bring it alive, make it a reality. And uh, that's where it is kind of thing because there has been confusion. There is no doubt about it and who is holding what, who is responsible for what and all. I clearly want that leadership clarity to be brought in. Okay, So that's the reason why we did uh, uh, Pratik here and Ram there. That's one. The uh, What's the other one you ask? The, why do you decide to do away with the joint? This the, they are interlinked. As I said, like to bring in clarity and greater focus. Okay, and uh, it's 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 correct that way. The other thing is uh, connected with this is see the idea of starting Malin Lintas for us is is another agency. If we are creating another entity, 
it has to have a reason of its own okay it's not mm, clones of each other ha it should not be because it has to have its own distinct identity it's like a christian um, the headed martin agency she still heads that but there is martin is different from malin okay very distinct personalities distinct identities like oh, and both of they are part of the same group but they have different personalities they are different identities so which is what i want to drive bring that clarity okay this is for this and this is for this otherwise you just you it's okay to be uh, to have one overall leader leadership level, like like christian heads thing or i heading it and but when it comes to the specific function you need to have one leader for one function in that case on a group leadership level are you going to have uh, a chairman or a cco or group cco no like amir no. no 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 okay but you on a global level you have alex who's overarching our uh, global global chairman glo right. she is the global ceo now CEO, yeah he's a chairman right? alex like alex is the chairman and for the collective I and then that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why i said like you know as business leadership that's fine like the overall head of the company and the head of the group that's fine i'm saying but here the responsibilities have to be very very clearly given out because each one knows also like you know what because no lintas has its own identity and now malan lintas has its own identity which is what we put out in the world that <laughs> fabulous anything else you want to speak about <laughs> i'm good. good i'm good i'm good thank you so much thank you so for much. your interest in this i appreciate it thank you i hope you enjoyed the questions and thank you so thank much you. for being here